How you doing everyone? It's Kevin. I'm back with another video. We're going to be using up a little bit more of these uh, scraps from the trailer build for the camp, from the camper build. Uh, we're going to be cutting out a, a unicorn. Um, my granddaughter needs something to hang her bows on. So uh, we're going to be making her a unicorn that she can hang on the wall and uh, hang some bows on it. Now, I'm not going to be the only one building on this. My wife's going to be helping me. So only thing I got to do is get the wood cut out. So let me show you what I have so far. Okay, I tried to carve, tried to trace out a unicorn. Uh, it's the best that we could do. We're not artists, so we'll do what we can to get a decent unicorn. I'm sure once it's painted, it should look nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this out of, uh, I have some quarter inch plywood that was left over from the camper and some of this Luan. We're going to cut one piece of each and glue them together. All right, I have the unicorn traced out. Now what I'm gonna do is take it to the bandsaw and get it cut out. We got it from paper now we got it to wood uh, we're gonna go ahead and trace this out on this plywood and then we'll get it cut out next Okay, we'll get that cut out on the bandsaw and uh, we'll have one done. Alright, I think maybe me and my wife are thinking a little different. I just called her and asked her to pick up some glue and I think she just wants one cut out like this. Uh, but I wanted to put this on top of there and then I could... You know, sand the horn down and they'll must look a little bit 3d so uh, I'm not sure what's going on so I'm just gonna make well, I'm gonna make two anyhow um, so uh, I'll just leave that one playing right now we'll do nothing to it but I'm gonna finish up this one here and then she can see if she likes it if not we'll just uh, leave that one playing so I'm gonna go ahead and get these two these two here put together I just got them nailed together. Now I'm going to take them over to belt sander and even up all the sides, make them look nice. All right, this this one's done as far as sanding and everything. I think it looks really good. Um, I kind of like the uh, horn being back. It kind of gives it the 3D look a little bit. I think it looks better like that. So I'll probably end up doing this in the same way. But I think it looks pretty good. Okay, I got them all. The dust blowed off of them. All sanded down. Now uh, Julie's going to have to do some painting here and make them look pretty. All right, we got all the little holes puttied where we nailed it on. And uh, got a coat of primer and a coat of paint on them. So we got the base paint down, now we just got to put some eyes on them and mouths and whatever else we got to do to them. But we'll keep you guys posted as we're going here. Alright, Julie got the sparkly horn on there. If you'd like you could do it in silver, but uh, that's just what we used on ours. Um, she's got the hot glue 
gun over there. We're going to get ready to put the main on there. And we're going to be putting the uh, the kids' name on each one of these. And we're just going to use a little tape to keep it straight. So, it's looking pretty good. Well, we'll get into putting the main on here in a minute. Okay, this is the yarn that we got to make the unicorn's mane out of. And as you can see, there's several different colors in here. If you was to buy one of each color, is I think it's about four bucks, uh, three or four dollars for one of these. Uh, if you was one to buy one of each color, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about seven colors in there. So and that was only around five bucks. Yeah, so you paid around five dollars for this, or you could pay about four dollars for each color. So Damn. what we're doing right now <laughs> is we're taking it off of the spool. Julie's just winding it up. Separating you can see the colors. Yeah, separating all the colors. Right here's the roll on the floor. And we just got some old cardboard. Just some old cardboard, and she's winding it up on cardboard. Now she can use this for all kind of crafts and stuff later on down the road if we have too much for this. So, so it's just mainly just getting it separated so we have each color to put on the main because I think there's different colors, like a rainbow color as you come down. So that's what we're doing right now. All right, what Julie's doing now is cutting these guys down, all the yarn, she's cutting down to between 25 and 27 inches long and laying them down. Now, if they're not even, we'll give a little haircut once uh, we get them all glued on there. I think we're going to glue and staple, but I'm not sure yet. But whatever we do, we'll let you guys in on it. All right, we're learning to do this one here. What we're doing is we're hot gluing these, each bundle down on the board. Then we're putting a little hot glue over top of them. Then we're running staples. We was using an electric staple, but that's not working real well because it's putting too many staples in. But we're just using a manual stapler now and it's working out a lot better for us. So we're just gonna keep doing all the colors all the way down to the bottom. Then we'll flip the main over and it should look good. Now, what we do is we're trying to get these as close as we can to all of them being the same length. And then Julie's just going to cut that piece off. Then we all have them all about the same length. Then she's going to put some hot glue down. She's going to put some hot glue down. Then I'm going to lay the edge of this right on top of that hot glue and push it down on there and then she's going to take some more hot glue put over the top of it then i'm going to take the glue and smear it over the edge so it kind of holds it down all into one place until we can get it stapled and we're going to keep doing that this will be our last bundle of yarn on this one all right now that we have them all um hot glued on there we're just going to go down through here and put a row of these staples but we do want these staples to kind of overlap a little bit that stuff is thick Okay, after we got them all glued on the back, we flipped all the main over, and that's what you're going to hook your bows on. So, but it does look nice. It looks pretty cool. So you just got to put a little bit of uh, like bangs on it and a little bow up there, and then uh, put the name on it. So, looking good. All right, what Julie's doing there is she's just cutting the bangs for the unicorn. And then I'll trim them. She'll trim them once she gets them on. And these are just short pieces. Looks to be about six inches or so. And you, you're going to trim them anyhow once you put them on the unicorn. This little bead doesn't seem like it's going to... It's coming off. Yeah, I'll just re-glue that too, I guess. Without burning myself. Okay. 
and then <coughs> I'm gonna go ahead and glue this. Try to get these in a clump a little closer. See, and then I'll just <laughs> ow, that's hot. <laughs> hot, hot, hot. Hopefully, it didn't stick to the towel, which it probably did. Ah, oh, shoot. Dry. Well, that's going to be the bangs, right? Yeah. How it stuck to my finger. <laughs> ah, shoot. There we go. Ah. <laughs> I can't get it off. It's stuck. Oh, do you have to glue that, glue that pink one yet? Yeah. Or? Yeah. <clears throat> and then once I get it on, I'll trim the bangs. The bangs back, yeah. And I just need to figure out where I want this one to go. I just don't want to see the hair behind it, you know. Oh, it's still a little tacky. I think right there. So I'll go ahead and glue this flower on. right there. Oh, this one's coming off too, so I might as well just go ahead and re-glue that. Ouch. It's like spider webs. And then this one Just trying to straighten them up here. They're kind of all. I could have probably even done them a little thicker, you know, a little bit more, but maybe four strands on each. I don't know. But then I'll just trim them a little bit, let it sit here and dry for a second. Um, I probably should re glue this bead too, just to make sure it's going to stay. I'll just put a little dab of glue around it. Hopefully it'll, it's not, it's, well, I guess it's loose. There we go. Just kind of going at a little bit of an angle, but you can just keep messing with it however short or long you want it. And then look at it and see if you like that. If not, I think that looks okay. What do you think? Yeah. It looks good. Okay. All right. Easy as that. Okay. Here's our letters. Now, Julie's just going to put Olivia's name on this one. And it's basically uh, pretty much right like where the mouth goes on it. So. If I can get them off of here. <laughs> They're kind of small. The tape is just like a little guideline, that's all. Where's the L? L. Oh, these are tiny. <laughs> you know what might be easier if you take a pair of tweezers and hold them with? I think I can get them.
Yeah, they're pretty small. I probably should have got maybe one size bigger. <laughs> I had it started. Mm. Yeah, they're pretty, pretty small. Just trying to space them out about the same. Okay, now if you guys choose, you could paint the uh, names on there if you want. But if not, just buy the little stickers and stick them on. Alright, we got this one done here. Looks pretty good. Actually, both of them are done. And what you do is just clip your bows on them. Uh, and you got all that room to clip bows on. So if your daughter or granddaughter's got a bunch of bows and she needs to hang them, that's a nice little thing to hang them on. It looked looks pretty good. Turned out okay, pretty nice. Okay, here's number two. And if you notice, Julie just braided, just braided this uh, the the main, and uh, you can hang them on there like that, or you can keep them the other way where the main just hangs down. But I think they are a very very cute little project. If you want to do it, it's not that hard. Just a little time consuming. All right, here's both the unicorns, and they both look beautiful to me. I think they're turned out really nice. Um, on this job, it's probably a, it wasn't that hard to do them. It's probably about a seven or an eight. It takes more time than anything else, but it's actually a fun little project. It just takes a lot of time. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me thumbs up, thumbs down, or a comment if you'd like. Till next time.